This episode brought to you by preparewithdronetech.com. And right now, you can save $50 off a four-week supply of delicious meals that provide 2,000-plus calories a day. So go to www.preparewithdronetech.com right now and stock up. Why don't you do your job? Why don't you get this border secure? And until you do that, I don't want to hear a blip about COVID from you. What about the border? It sounds like, I know you are, but what am I? What's next? I'm rubber and you're glue? Nah, nah, boo boo? <laughs> Who am I kidding? This guy could fall so much lower. For example, he could resign himself to being a CCP mouthpiece. Huh? Oh, he did that already? No, seriously, back when we had a real president who called out China for unleashing COVID-19 onto the world, Jim Acosta tried to discredit him for suggesting that it came from the Wuhan lab. Today, it appears that Acosta's programming may be glitching because he seems more on edge than usual. Despite the fact that Democrats are in control of the government right now, Jim Acosta chooses to ignore them and focus solely on anybody who presents a challenge to their power. In this case, Ron DeSantis. What about the border? It sounds like I know you are, but what am I? What's next? I'm rubber and you're glue? Nana and boo boo? Okay. Wow. Sad. Okay, so this is how it went down. Biden taunts DeSantis, blaming him for a surge in corona cases, and then tells him to get out of the way. DeSantis responds that he's standing in the way of government overreach and that Biden should get control of the border, which is being flooded with COVID-infected illegal immigrants that are being scattered around the country in secret by the thousands. Seems like that might have something to do with it, but they're a protected group, thus nothing will be blamed on them. DeSantis's response makes perfect sense, but we're talking about Democrat state media here, and they don't cover those stories. The experts are telling us to listen to the science, that it's better to be vaccinated, that masks will help in areas where COVID rates are soaring. And yet some of these GOP leaders won't say the science part out loud. People should not have to die so some politicians can own the libs, end up owning the pandemic because they're prolonging it. Perhaps it's time to start naming these new variants that may be coming out after them instead of the Delta variant. Why not call it the DeSantis variant? Okay, so what are we constantly told? That the pandemic isn't political, right? Yet over and over again, we see contradictions to this claim. For example, the constant focus on red states for negative coverage, even if they're doing better than blue states like New York and California. Then you got people like Fauci blaming the outdoor Sturgis party for a rise in corona cases while completely ignoring Barack Obama's birthday bash. He did the same thing when he blamed outdoor anti-lockdown protests for a surge in cases while refusing to blame BLM riots for spreading the virus. We're just told they're more sophisticated and they don't need to worry about it. This is going to be safe. This is a sophisticated vaccinated crowd. And, and this is just about optics, it's not about safety. While the Dems and their state media stooges are constantly trying to deflect blame from China, they're always trying to assign it to their political opposition. And not just the politicians, but everyday people as well. A couple things. I'm not a scientist, but even I can see that these surges are happening worldwide in countries with the highest vaccination rates. Also, to Acosta's false claim that his political opponents in the Republican Party are to blame for, quote, prolonging the pandemic. As far as I know, the coronavirus isn't going anywhere ever. It apparently replaced the flu, which had a different shot every year because of new variants. Another false claim by Acosta here is that Republicans are somehow to blame for these new variants. It's absurd. The current variants come from the UK, South Africa, Brazil, and India. So surprise, surprise, Jim Acosta is a pathetic loser who's doing as much damage to the country as he can as he has a mental breakdown. I hope none of you like Subway. For one, it's been gross for years, but for another, they sponsored this segment. There's really no point in giving money to companies that outright hate you. That's all for this one. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button on your way out and let me know what you think in the comments.